dear friends. I hope you are having a fabulous day. It is almost noon here, and it's a beautiful overcast day. There's some billowy clouds outside with some blue sky behind it, but I know that's not going to last long. We're going to have rain before the day is over. That's just the way it is this time of year. I'm looking out the window now because I saw an alligator swim by earlier, and I wanted to show it to you, but I think he's submerged now, so if he pops up, I'm going to show him. And um, we're going to go outside. I want to show you some progress we're making around the pool. It is coming along slowly. Each project we start takes much longer than we ever assume it would because of the supply chain issues. I finally got a new table to go in between the loungers. You know, it took the loungers five or six months to get those. It just takes forever. And we're having some landscaping done. And there's some more landscaping to be done in maybe two more weeks. But we're trying to finish up one spot now before we start something else. We have learned our lesson. We're not going to start every project at the same time and then have construction in the house and outside the house all of the time. So we're slowly doing one project and then another project. And before we know it, we're going to be finished. Well, I can't say that because I'm already thinking about redecorating one room. So I don't know what to tell you about that. But let's go out by the pool before it rains this afternoon. And I want to show you what is going on. I am going to do that. And then I'm going to show you a very simple recipe that I have for lunch. You may have some really good recipes that are similar to mine. And if you have a better one, please send it to me because this is one of my favorite recipes for lunch, but I think it has room for improvement. So let's go outside and let's catch up on what is going on while the uh, workers are gone to lunch. And I can show you exactly what they're doing. And look at this. We have changes. All of the flowers have been removed. And we are now putting down tile. We are not. We have someone professional who's doing it because this looks very complicated. I've watched them do it. And they have to cut each of those tiles perfectly, which would have been a mess for me to even try to do it in the simplest form. Just laying tiles side by side would not be fun. But this is even more detailed. And in between each one of these tiles will be some grass. And then we have an addition to the patio furniture. We got our new table in. This is a concrete table with terrazzo inlay. It's a kind of little chips of marble-ish tile. And I'm loving that because it is going to weather any storm. That's wonderful. And you can see that they are working on this area as well. And they're not quite finished. Hopefully in a day or so that will be finished. I'm so excited about this. I'm really excited. Sorry for all the mess because they have really been working. Well, let's walk over this way and I'll show you this table I had between the chairs. Now that's the table that was used between the two chairs and I was not happy about it being in that location because of the glass top. I worried about that breaking and getting into the pool so we're going to use that table to be a um, side table to this dining table we have and I will place maybe soft drinks on it or something uh, but it does match the wrought iron matches so I'm going to keep that but all of this landscaping is coming out next and it's going to be replaced with something much nicer than that that is aged out and looks terrible what in the world where's he going he's just walking around the pool Uh oh, if he turns around and attacks me, I'm going to run like hell. What's he doing? Oh my god. What is this? Is it a duck? Is it a turkey? What is it? Oh my god. 
This is not good. Where's it going? Coming from the other side of the pool, see if I can just kind of scare him away. He is not afraid of me in the least. Well, he sees himself in that window. Oh my God. It's a beautiful day out here, but we are going in and making avocado toast for lunch. I'm starved and it's my recipe for avocado toast, but you may have a better recipe than I do. And if you do, please let me know. It's lunchtime and I'm gonna make avocado toast. Let's move my camera up just a bit. Ah, how about that? Okay, so it's lunchtime and I'm gonna make avocado toast. Absolutely love it. And I have learned to make my own. I only ordered it at restaurants for so long and then I thought, why not? I am in avocado heaven here and I'm gonna show you this avocado. Look at this. I bought this a few days ago. I let it get really ripe, which is very important if you're gonna make avocado toast. You don't want one of the ones that are rock hard because you cannot mash up the avocado. So this one, look at that, it's as big as my head. And I'm just shocked at how large an avocado can get. And I'm really tempted to plant an avocado tree, but I have a friend who has one and she's had it for many years. And she says that there's so many avocados and she has given away avocados to everyone to the point no one wants them anymore. But she says that if she puts them in a basket and she puts them out, the landscapers might take a few. There are people who go out for walks and I know she has them in the area and they'll stop by and pick up an avocado. So she's finding a way to make use of them, but it kind of frightened me that I would have all these avocados and not be able to use them but that's just assuming that I would be great at growing avocados. I may be as good at that as I am some other plants that just just absolutely give up their will to live and it wouldn't work out. So I don't know, one day when I'm at a nursery I may pick up a tree and give it a try. I haven't even done any research to see how long it takes to produce avocados. I'm going to guess at least one or two seasons, but how long does it take to grow this kind of avocado? This is uh, this is not a Haas or H-A-A-S Haas or Haas avocado. I'm not sure what kind this is, but I need to find out before I ever plant a tree, don't I? So I'm going to show you what I put in my avocado when I make avocado toast. Super simple. It's not the same ingredients that you would use for say guacamole dip, but you can get close to that if you're not careful and you keep putting ingredients in. If you keep adding things, pretty soon you have guacamole on toast. So um, I try to avoid that because I want it to taste a lot different because I love guacamole and I like avocado toast. I just don't want them to taste the same. So let me show you what I use as ingredients for my avocado toast. Okay, we are making avocado toast. And so of course you have your avocado and you will need olive oil. And you only need a tablespoon or two because you're using it as if it were butter, like you're buttering your bread, you're buttering your toast. And if you happen to have some seasoned olive oil, like this is Parmesan basil, I use this sometimes, delicious. This is made by, I think it's a Publix brand. I don't think it's anything that is special. Then you will need garlic. And I like to use this gourmet garden garlic. It's already in a tube. I'm trying to get it to focus for you. And if you have fresh garlic, just slice a clove of garlic and swipe it across your toast and it gives just enough garlic flavor to make it delicious. You will need sea salt, whether you like Himalayan sea salt or just regular sea salt. That's all I use. Now if you want to use pepper flakes, I will probably use ground pe black pepper also. Let's add that to the recipe because 
it gives us that hint of peppery flavor. But I know you can use jalapenos or you can use red pepper flakes, any of those ingredients that taste good to you. What I do avoid is tomatoes. I do not use a tomato in my avocado. And then also once you start adding cilantro, then you get into the flavor of a guacamole dip. So I try to avoid those. So let's get started. Oh yes, 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 you need bread. At least use wheat bread. If you don't use wheat bread, use sourdough bread. Actually, sourdough bread is much better. But I don't have it today. I have wheat bread. So I am going to start by slicing open this very ripe avocado. I probably will slice half of it because I'm going to save the other half for a salad later this evening. So let's get started with that. Here's my knife. I was looking for that. Let's just do half of this enormous avocado and I'm going to cut it down the middle and save that. Oh look at that. Very ripe. Love it, love it. I'm going to take this and I'm going to use a giant serving spoon and I'm going to scoop out the avocado. Boy, that looks delicious. Look at that. Wow. I love, love, love it. Scooping that out. So we're going to scoop out this avocado and get all that yumminess out. And there we have that all empty. Now I am going to add just a dollop of garlic, not a lot because you don't want it to be overpowering. I'm going to use Himalayan sea salt. It does not matter. If you even just use plain old table salt, I like the flavor of the Himalayan sea salt, but like I said, I have table salt and I have just plain sea salt. Let's add a black pepper. You can add red pepper flakes. Yummy, yummy, that's so good. So then we're gonna use a masher. You can use a fork, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to mash this in the bowl. I know if you look at recipes online, it will mention mashing the avocado on the toast, but I'm telling you, this is a much easier way to do it because it will not tear the bread. And you have to toast the bread because if not, you're going to have avocado smushed into soft bread. And I think I'm going to add a bit of lime. Hold on one second. I have one right here. Let's squeeze some lime into this. Not a lot. You don't want to overpower any flavor. You really want that avocado flavor to come through and the lime will keep the avocado from turning brown. So that looks yummy. Wow, let's keep going. If you've done this more than one time, you will find that it's one of the easiest recipes and it's great for, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can have it with a salad. You can add anything you want to say slice up some radishes or tomatoes to the side make a just a very simple salad add some olive oil to it drizzle it over the top of your vegetables that you have to the side of your avocado toast you will not regret it because this is absolutely delicious now we have our toast and you want it nice and toasty so it'll be a substantial foundation for this sandwich. And we're going to take the olive oil. Let me get a few things out of our way here. So we have the olive oil and we're going to just brush that on the toast. Let's show you. Brush, brush, brush. 
just like you're buttering your toast, you're going to just use olive oil instead of butter. I'm going to put an extra sprinkle of Himalayan salt on this. And then I'm going to get a nice scoop of avocado. And just pile it on as thick as you would like it. So delicious. You are going to love this. If you have not had avocado toast, with, I mean, I think everybody's had avocado toast, but this is the way I make it. I make it the simplest way possible to keep that flavor of the avocado. And there it is. And then I take it and cut it. So you a nice bite-sized piece. Mm. This is one of my favorite days. It's a day when I have several packages delivered at the same time. So let's open these together. I think I know what everything is, but one of them I'm not quite sure of, but we're going to find out. I am starting to think about all of the holidays. These items, if they're what I think they are, they're mostly for autumn, but this one I believe can be used for the Christmas holidays, and I'm going to share all this with you. And anything I can, I will link in the description box below because. I know when I'm watching someone's video and they mention something, I immediately want to know where they got it, especially if it's something really special. Some of these are not so special. Some are just normal, everyday items. But let's see. You know, actually, I'm going to open this one first because I've forgotten what I ordered. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't look on my phone. You know, usually they, it, here, I don't know if they do it everywhere, but we will get um, notification that something's been delivered. But I just happened to be walking by the front door, and there it was. So I have not looked on my phone to see what it is. I know exactly what this one is. Now, I see the color, because it's a color I don't usually wear, but I bought this just for going out during the Christmas holidays and maybe around Thanksgiving because the color is just so autumnish and wintry. It is a cranberry red. They, this dress comes, also comes in a bright red. So if you like bright red for Christmas, I suggest you order this dress. It comes from Amazon. I have it in a bright blue that I absolutely fell in love with. It ties. I just tied it. See how simply it ties? It ties in the front. Let me put it up here. <laughs> it ties in the front. And this is a small. Now, I am 5'7", and it's not super short on me. So, I, if, I will take a video, and I'll put it so you can see what it looks like on that I ordered it in small and I've ordered it before in a different color and I just love it so much because it's comfy it's almost like a t-shirt fabric but much better quality than that and it's surprisingly inexpensive it's perfect for popping on to go to dinner with friends or just some little maybe a Christmas pageant or something like that and you feel like you're dressed for the occasion it is long sleeve it has a gather on the sleeve Let's see if I can put that up close there is the belting the back is not gathered somewhat like a shift dress but this is what's so wonderful, is the belting, it makes it body conscious, and it looks as if 
it is fitted when you tie that belt. I tend to not wear too many things that are very boxy. I like things that are fitted. This is a very old top. I don't even think I would bother linking it. I believe I had it last winter and I probably ordered it off of Amazon. I'm just around the house today so I didn't put on anything special but I will try this on for you so you can see what it looks like and I'll link it below like I said and you can try it yourself. I think it comes in maybe 32 different colors and patterns so if you really like this you could almost make it a uniform for work. Oh, I just love it. It comes with a little zipper bag. I don't know what I'd ever use that for. Um, let's travel, maybe travel bag of some sort. Lots of trash gonna be gathered here. Now this box, I know exactly what it is because I have ordered a similar item in the past. Let's open it and I will show you because you will remember seeing this. Yes, it's exactly what I thought it was, and you will remember a couple of months ago I made a tablescape video, and in that tablescape video, it was a spring tablescape, I used these emerald green goblets, the twill emerald green, but I had ordered the six ounce goblets, which are the white wine goblets, but they were too small for instance if you wanted to serve iced tea in them or water use them for water glasses but goodness gracious they have these taped in no i had just not pulled the tab out so i had the six ounce and then i went back to see if they had a larger size and they do this is the 10 ounce which is much better but I will use both sizes because I will serve at some dinners white wine some dinners red wine lunches and dinners iced tea or water at every meal if you look online these are the red wine goblets 10 ounce and then you will remember the video those were six ounce goblets and they are white wine and I will link those below so you can get to them quickly and I'll link at the end of this video I'll link that spring tablescape video for you so you can see that if you missed it and so you won't miss any other videos go ahead and subscribe to my channel I'll we'll put this here so you can see I'm looking in my monitor to see if you can see uh, no, not much. How about if I put it on this table? Now then, possibly see it there. Um, if you'll go ahead and subscribe, then you won't miss any videos because you get to be notified and you know before anybody else who has not subscribed. Here is the second one. So these come in boxes of four, and I bought 12, and I think this is the other four. Let's make sure, because I'm always placing orders, and I think I have everything in that I ordered recently, but it's getting ready to become everyday occurrence when I start shopping for the holidays because I rarely go and walk through a mall or I might go in a little cute boutique and shop but I rarely get out and go into a mall and shop. I will just order everything online. I have no problem with that. There it is. 12 of the red wine goblets and emerald green and they're made by Twill. So I am ready for holiday parties, Thanksgiving, Christmas, just having a lot of neighbors over for dinner. Whatever I need them for, they're going to be perfect for Thanksgiving tablescapes. They'll be perfect to use if I use a Christmas tablescape that will allow for green. If not, I'll just use my crystal. And I think I mentioned before, we used it for spring, but wouldn't this be great if you did, say, a St. Patrick's Day table? If you're one of the viewers who loves to do tablescapes, check these out.
you. I think you'll like them. And here's the dress. I'll put it on this table for you, but you can't really see it. But you can see the color. I love that color. But like I said, it does come in a bright red if you want that. Now we can see this is from Beachy. And if you have not gone on Beachy's website, Beachy is a great source for just about anything casual. They do have some dressy dresses for, say, New Year's Eve, but I tend to buy little tops and things from them because they're very trendy. I try not to buy the trendiest things I have because, of course, you're going to wear them one season, and then you won't want to wear them any longer, but I've done that too. If I see some trend that I love, I'll dive right into a trend, and then most of the time I wish I hadn't, but I ordered this top in two colors for winter because we go up north for the holidays and I wanted something warm and comfy and cozy and this is what I got. They are rib knit, round neck. This is round neck. This dress is round neck as well because I love to wear layered necklaces and it shows up beautifully on these round necks. This has a long sleeve and it bells out. See it has a bell that goes on your hand like so and I like that. Although this is going to have to stretch quite a bit. I bought the small, I think the small, let's see. I bought the small. No, that's extra small. Did I send the wrong side? This one is a small. This is extra small. I may have to return the extra small. I will try that on and make sure before I return it, of course. But I also got the one they sent the, the actual size in. The one they sent the right size in is a rust color, which you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with black slacks, you can wear it with a skirt. A tweed skirt would look cute with this, wouldn't it? With boots. There couldn't be that much difference in size, but there you go. But layer that up with the necklaces and a pair of slacks or a skirt, and you have a really adorable outfit. I like that. I love these sleeves. It's just an elegant little touch to a very simple sweater. And I can't wait to wear this. I can't wait for the weather to be cool enough up north to do that. And I noticed on the news when I'm watching other cities, um, I think I was watching something in Philadelphia this morning, and everyone was wearing jackets and sweaters. So Philadelphia, if you're watching, Lucky you with your autumn weather. Let's see if they have extra small and small on my invoice. They do. It's on the invoice that way, too. Well, at least they sent the invoice so I can return this top if I need to. Unlike the others that I had ordered from and you could not. So, again, I like Beachy. If, you like, if you've ever tried it, you know you like it. And then if you have not tried it, give it a try. Just order one little thing off of it and see what you think. They have cute little dresses, cute little tops. So if you've never tried Beachy, try it and see if you like it. It's BeachyCollection.com. And that's my tip of the day is to try that website because it's a good source for everyday wear or those party dresses that you're going to wear maybe once or twice and or very super trendy things and you are going to thank me for it later. I'm so glad you watched today and don't forget if you like this video in particular or you like another video subject matter either leave a comment or give it a thumbs up because that gives me an indication of what you really like to see because I love making these fun videos for you but I want to make videos that you really enjoy and I have an idea of some of the videos you like because of the analytics that I get and I can go through and see which videos you enjoy the most. I can't always replicate those videos because I've already done them, but I can do something close to that. And 
I noticed that some of you are enjoying the longer videos that I've started doing. Hope you continue to enjoy that. I may still occasionally put out a short video because some of the subject matter just does not allow for a long video. You might get bored with it certain things, but I do appreciate you watching. I appreciate every one of my subscribers. I love my subscribers, and if you're one of them, thank you very much, and I am going to put all of this away. I'm going to try this on for you and put this in the video, and don't forget, I'm going to put the video of the springtime table tablescape at the end so you can see how I used these twill glasses, and I guess that's it. I'll see you next week. Bye.